Well, residents in the fifth ward where cancer clusters have been identified are rallying today because they say they don't want to be forgotten. That's right. And Fox 26's Domily Keith is joining us live there tonight. And Domily, I know a lot of neighbors feel like they have waited long enough to get help. Yeah, that's exactly what they said. And residents here in Fifth Ward say they certainly appreciate the EPA administrator visiting with them and hearing their concerns regarding them living this close to the Union Pacific Rail Yard and being exposed to cancer causing chemicals for decades. But they say they want to know that something is being done to help them. We say no more. And we're not going anywhere. Here in this Fifth Ward neighborhood, many of these residents have lived just across the street from this Union Pacific Rail Yard for decades, and they say for too long they've been exposed to cancer-causing chemicals, creating what they call an atmosphere for too many deaths. The Texas Department of Health and Human Services says it found elevated counts of cancers here known to be associated with the kinds of chemicals found at the Union Pacific site. My younger sister was lost to cancer, my brother. I have two brothers that were lost to cancer. Nobody deserves it. And nobody deserves them. I have lost a husband. I have lost a brother. I have lost a mother. I have lost a father now. Enough is enough. I mean, and you would not shut us up. You would, we would not be silenced. This is going on too long. They have killed off enough of our people. They have killed off, messed off our residents. My property not worth five cents. Quite frankly, for many of those people, it's a life and death issue. And so I get it, I understand it, and we're going to be right there fighting right alongside them. In fact, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says the good news is the residents now have EPA Administrator Michael Reagan as an advocate. After touring Fifth Ward in November, Reagan made several changes, including implementing unannounced inspections at suspected non-compliant facilities and launched a pollution accountability team. He literally talked to us probably longer than Union Pacific has ever spoken to us. And that's something to really think about. The goal now is to do everything we can in pushing Union Pacific and others to come up with a plan possibly to move people away uh, who are on top of that plume. Now, Union saying that the company has followed permitting and remediation requirements from the state since acquiring the site in 1997. And that's just part of the statement. You can see the entire statement on our website. Meanwhile, residents here say they've been sitting silent for decades and they say that they will no longer sit and hope the problem will be corrected. Reporting live in Fifth Ward, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.